Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create external parameters so that user can configure those parameters without modifying the iFlow. All right, so those are basically useful when they want to, you know, sometime change the configuration or change some of the parameters and based on those parameters, their iFlow will de behave differently in the production. All right, so for that, we, we will be creating external parameter exchange property, I would say. So for that, we need a content modifier and you have to create that thing wherever you are supposed to use it. For example, in this example, we are taking an example of so far item name, cost and discount, right? So those mappings we are doing in message mapping and I want to use that external parameter exchange property in the message mapping. That means I have to create that content modifier before this block, not after this block because if I create in this block which is after the message maybe it's of no use because I won't be able to access it so what I need to do I'll need to create a content modifier block before message mapping so let me drop it here okay so the second block is created click on it and once uh, you see this uh, exchange property option select that click on add this is the place where you would be you know giving the name you say um, you can say enable discount key because that will you this is the key which you will be using to access the you know value of that external parameter all right so whenever you want to define any parameter which has to be configured outside i mean at, you know after deployment so you have to put that in a double curly braces so i'll say double curly braces and discount and whatever name you will mention over it that will be visible to the customer on the configure page so hit enter so it's showing default values right now we didn't enter anything let's not put it maybe you can say zero if you want it okay so that's a default value and simply minimize it we are almost done and for testing purpose let's uh, you know um, what i can do let me modify it over here i can say body colon dollar property dot my enable discount key so that is the value now if i deploy let's see what will happen as you can see it's deployed let's hit send button you can see the ball uh, body is printing one let's check that whether I configure it having some let me cancel it configure it Okay, so maybe it's taking the previous cast value. So let me remove it. And if I just save it. Okay, so I have to put something. So it's like mandatory field. Maybe I'll say one, two, three, just for testing purpose. I'll say deploy. Let's check over here. You can see one, two, three is coming. So that means value is flowing okay since i want to make this uh, you know as a pool property so that's like enable disable i can say true or for something like so maybe i'll just set the value as true for now okay i'll just close it in my content modifier let me see what is the value showing now now you see here also started showing me the default value I need to click add it so when you double click it this I can remove it so of no use all right so so far so good maybe let me deploy that also so that we can see whether true is flowing or not okay so you can see true is coming the error you saw because it didn't deploy and I hit the send button before you know before it was processing the request all right so this so far so good let me click on content modifier and remove this we don't need this right now and deploy again i'll go back to postman let's see okay so the xml is coming as it was coming before all right so now what we need to do user can say enable disable discount whenever they want in the production uh, based on the configuration 
all right so if you have seen just now uh, let me save it if i click on configure we have set to value it but let's utilize this value in the message mapping so what i'll do i'll go to message mapping to hit edit and processing so to access any you know any uh, sort of header values or or body properties or something like that, right so what we need to do we need to you know uh, access via scripts because those ready-made functions are not available so what we need to do let me click on discount so this is the field which we want to make it configurable all right so what we can do we can let's see whether it's something is already available get property okay so it's showing looks like showing me the existing one mm -hmm. Let me minimize a bit and go on to say OK. And so script is not there. We'll go back here and check. Click on that same property and then let's not this one there is no a script looks like that uh, get property is what get header get property let's try to use it so it's saying key maybe it should work the same which i was talking about it so so our key name as you have seen is nothing but enable discount key okay so let's uh, put that value over here maybe i'll select constant so that the, that's where uh, i will get a chance to put the value i mean it's a key name i mean to say so this is the key name which is going inside this one and it will give me the value whether it's a true or false right so what i can do i need to hold this value somewhere so i'll use equals and our is of uh, bull type because i made it true right so I will say this property goes to this one. Whatever is the value is coming, I will take one more constant, and I will say here true. If both are true, and then we need to take if condition. If else, I mean. So if this is true, condition, then remove this one take the mapping value that is the discount and pass it to this if it's not true default value the false value will be zero we don't want to apply a discount so again we need one more constant over here and here i will say zero okay so i'll set it over here so now you see how is the flow Okay, so first we read the property which is set by the user. If this is equals to true, and if it's not equal to true, this is the I'm like if it's equal to true, uh, let me put it here. Here. So if the property is equal to constant, which is nothing but true, then it goes to true condition. If it's not true, then it the default value is zero, that is false value. If it's true, what is the value? We have to read the value from the value map, which I have shown you in the previous video set to the discount let's deploy this yes first we'll check the happy path value is already set to true in our uh, you know configuration let's check that it's deployed if i execute now you should be able to see okay so far mm, excellent so far all good 10 20 30 everything let's minimize it now what i need to do I'll save this as a version. Here I'll say, uh, you know, exchange property. I'll save it. And this time I'll say configure false. Deploy.
okay so this value is also deployed let's hit send button you see this count is zero if i go back and configure again set it to true and deploy If I send now, you see discount is applied. All right, so that's how we read external or exchange property. Uh, all right, in the message mapping, that's pretty much about this video. Thank you very much.